Aloha! Welcome to Juicy and Strong Woman. I am Alila Rose Grace, founder of Mahina Menstrual Cup and the V-Steam Academy. I am a menstrual advocate and a holistic woman's health and wellness coach, and I am here to tell you a little secret. Come on in close. the V steam, a vaginal steam, or yoni steam. Yoni is a beautiful ancient Sanskrit word for vagina or your reproductive system. So why is a V steam going to boost your immunity and make you juicy and strong? Let me tell you. First of all, it's the number one tool that we can use for emotional, physical, and energetic detoxification. The uterus is like a chalice, and everything that we experience in our life creates an imprint within us, within our uterus, and within this chalice. And normally, the uterus is a self-regulating, self-cleansing organ. However, when we're taking in too much from our external experience without the ability to digest it and sit with it and breathe into it and let it go, what happens is it gets heavy and dense, i.e. unable to self-regulate itself. So then we start getting confused and heavy and we start attracting partners from our wounds instead of our light. And we start getting sick because getting sick is the body's way of saying slow the F down. Okay, getting sick is a messenger, it's not the message. So my message to you is to start tuning into your uterus. And by using V-Steams as a tool to help you anchor into this wisdom, into this radiance, into this vitality, and into this clarity. I believe the body is the authority and the uterus is the queen. And the queen needs to be on her throne to direct the castle, your body, and the village, your external experience. The uterus is connected by ligaments, and these ligaments are like rubber bands, and over time, not only are these rubber bands stretching out and dropping because of gravity, but also because of pregnancy, high-impact aerobics, and just day-to-day -day usage, the uterus actually starts to drop. And what this means is the uterus, the queen, actually comes off of her throne. And when the queen's not on her throne, nobody listens to her direction. She doesn't even know that she's in command. So our job is to keep our uterus, our queen, on her throne. So that way the castle is intact, your body, it's guarded, the immune system is strong, and you know who you are. Some other juicy benefits of V-steaming are it's going to help you balance and regulate your hormones. It's going to make your period lighter and less painful. It's going to increase vaginal sensation and lubrication. It's also going to activate the Kundalini Shakti at the base of your spine. Your Kundalini Shakti is the most powerful, most potent um, energy available on this planet residing inside of you waiting to be awakened. You're going to feel more grounded, more regulated, more deep in your wisdom, more a feeling of, almost a feeling of being anchored within your own wisdom within your own self. You're going to have a more confidence, more radiance, and you're going to know who you are. You're going to be operating from your belly magnetism instead of your frantic, confused brain. Also, if you've had a baby, doing a V-steam is the most important postpartum practice that you can do because when we create life inside of us, 
our uterus goes through so much change. So not only is the V-seam going to help put that uterus back in her place, it's also going to help cleanse out any membranes left over from the birth. And so this is going to just feel so good and you will only know how it's going to change your life and what amazing benefits it's going to have for you once you start doing it. But the thing that I want you to remember is your vagina is meant to be juicy. That is its normal state and the V-Steam is going to help cleanse out anything that is not juice. Okay, Leela, I'm sold. I want a juicy yoni. How? How do I start now? Okay, so I want you to go into your kitchen and grab a glass, metal, or ceramic bowl. A medium-sized bowl, one that you can um, eat a big salad in or soup, uh, dinner soup, something like this. And then I want you to go outside or to a park or down the street and see what's growing fresh around you. I truly believe that what's growing around you is the medicine growing for you. So for example, what's growing around me in my backyard right now is uh, we have rosemary, we have thyme, we have basil, and we have fresh hibiscus everywhere. So that's what I've been using. I also can find a lot of dandelion. Dandelions grow prolifically almost everywhere. They're those little yellow flowers that grow in the grass, and you can also use the dandelion leaves. I love when I travel. Um, I can find wild roses. That's one of my favorite things to steam with when I go visit family. In the Midwest, there's um, mugwort and motherwort everywhere, more in like dense forest areas. I can go to my natural food shop and I can find nettle, uh, red raspberry, um, I can get fresh oregano from uh, the farmer down the street or again from the market. See what herbs you can find at your market if you don't have them growing outside. So you want to take about a handful of herbs, fresh or dried, and put them in this bowl. And then you want to fill the bowl with water. And I want you to really be aware as you're filling this bowl, focus on your intentions, your thoughts. Because water is infused with our consciousness, it's going to start picking up on your energetic um, system and then when we infuse ourselves with this um, brew what intentions thoughts prayers energy you put into it is going to be what you're gonna receive from it okay so just make sure when you're dealing with the herbs when you're picking the herbs when you're washing the herbs that you're really thinking about what am I creating what am I loving what am I grateful for and as you're doing this, um, then I want you to go and bring that bowl over to the stove and make sure you have a pot that you have a cover that fits perfectly for. You want to bring the stove to high, bring the herbs to a boil. Once they start boiling, I want you to turn the stove down and let it simmer for about 15 to 20 minutes. During that time, grab a towel, a mat, um, some pillows. I want you to put on either a sarong or a flowy dress or skirt. I love putting on a flowy dress because it makes me feel like I'm in this goddess ceremonial state. The reason why we want that is because we want to trap the steam. And then um, turn off your phone, turn off your computer, and let everybody around you know that you are going into sacred space for about 20 minutes minimum, preferably to an hour. After about 15 to 20 minutes of simmering those herbs, you want to bring the pot to wherever you are about to steam. Again, keep that lid on. When we keep the lid on, we're protecting the volatile oils that are releasing from the herbs in the steam and it's creating the pressure. So that when we pour the herbs into our bowl, we get all of that medicine via the steam. So set yourself up, maybe in front of a couch or a chair with a pillow where you can lay out nicely and comfortably for 20 to up to 40 minutes. 
you want to be really careful and pour that hot steamy water into your bowl and I want you to bend kneel over so um, straddle with your knees the bowl and have your skirt surrounding the bowl and then I want you to lean forward on a pillow on again a couch or a chair and make yourself really comfortable and you can even set a timer for 20 to 30 minutes if you'd like me to guide you through a full 30 shamanic womb meditation that's going to help activate cleanse and heal your uterus please get this free gift for you from me at my website www Mahina Cup, M A H I N A C U P dot com forward slash V Steam. You're going to get a 30 minute guided shamanic womb meditation and an entire PDF guide that'll go over the benefits, why we V Steam, and how we V Steam. Because I don't expect you to memorize this whole video. So, I'm going to leave you with a little bit of a guided belly um, meditation now so that you actually know how to drop into your womb and you can start cultivating this energy. So what I want to do is invite you to close your eyes and bring your hands to your belly. And as we close our eyes, what we're doing is we're opening the inner veil. We're opening the veil between the inner worlds and our inner sight. And I want you to see if you can bring your awareness to your belly. And on your inhales, filling your belly with your breath, with your intention, with your love. And I want you to continue inhaling until you feel that point of fullness. And as you do, maybe you just pause with the breath there and then exhale, open the jaw, relax the tongue, keep that belly relaxed. And I want to see if you can actually relax your labia and send your exhale down and out through your labia. So as you inhale, inhale that breath into your belly, inhale that light, inhale that intention, allowing the breath to fill, and spiral the circle around the belly and on the exhale letting it go letting it all go and see if on the exhales how much you can let go so i want you to not add a thing total surrender your inhales fill you penetrate you open you totally annihilate you. See how much you can surrender. The name of the game in the steaming is how much can you open? How much can you open? How much can you receive? How much can you allow? Go hop over and download that shamanic guided room meditation. Grab your bowl, grab your herbs, and drop into a V-steam. I know it's gonna change your life. It has certainly changed mine, and I cannot wait to hear the stories and experiences that you have from this profound, potent, and ancient practice. Blessings and aloha.